Welcome to Little Explorers. I'm Joanna from the Stratford Early On program. And I'm Donna from West Perth Early On. And we're so happy you're here to share a story with us and sing some songs. Donna, do you want to tell our friends what story we're going to share today? I sure do. This story is called The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. Oh boy, I wonder what's going to happen on this snowy day. All right, Donna, take it away. Well, look, I think this little boy is looking at something in the snow. I wonder if we'll be able to find out what he's looking at. One winter morning, Peter wake, woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see all over the rooftops after breakfast he put on his snowsuit and ran outside the snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking there's a lot of snow up there crunch 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointed out. He walked with his po po toes pointed in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks and he found something poking out of the snow that made a new track. Hmm, I wonder what that could have been. It was a stick. A stick that he was just right for smacking a covered tree. Down fell the snow, Pick up right on top of Peter's head. And there he is with his tracks again. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. Look at all the snowballs that are being thrown. So he made a smiling snowman and he made snow angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. Hmm, wonder what's gonna happen to that snowball. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and he thought and he thought about them. Looks like he's having a nice warm bubble bath. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. Oh dear, his pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Mm. While he slept, he dreamt that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dreams were, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow, snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. And look at how big those snow mounds are now. They're way down in, in between the snow banks. 
I bet you they were going to have a whole lot more fun outside on that day. Awesome. What a fun story. Do you know what? Before, is it Peter? Is that little boy's name in this story? Before he could go out and play in the snow, he had to put on his snowsuit, didn't he? He did. Well, that makes me think of a really fun song we can sing where we can sort of you might at home be pretending to put on your snowsuit and your snow clothes. Donna's got hers there and she's going to put them on for us while we sing our song. You might yeah. want to try. All right. Let's start with, mm, actually, Donna, what do you need to put on first? Well, I'm going to put my snow pants on first. I think that's a good idea because they go up right against me under, under my coat. I think that's a great idea. Snow pants first. And this is the way we sing our song. This is the way we put on our snow pants, put on our snow pants, put on our snow pants. This is the way we put on our snow pants to go outside and play. Oh, are you ready to go, Donna? Can you go outside and play in the snow now? Not yet. I think I need to put on my boots next boots is a good idea because you still have your hands and your coat's not too bulky yet right. so it's good to put your boots on next all right you ready this is the way we put on our boots put on our boots put on our boots this is the way we put on our boots to go outside and play have them on all right you've got boots and snow pants so now you can go play in the snow right Nope, nope. I think I'd be cold up top. I think I need my coat on next. Good idea. And I'm going to pretend to put my coat on. Ready? This is the way we put on our coat. Put on our coat. Put on our coat. This is the way we put on our coat to go outside and play. And you have to zip it all the way up to the top, too. Oh, that's a really good idea, Donna. So now you're ready to go play in the snow, right? No. I have to protect my head. I don't want to get a cold head or cold ears. So I think I need my hat. Good idea. All right, let's put on our hat, friends. This is the way we put on our hat. Put on our hat. Put on our hat. This is the way we put on our hat to go outside and play. Now you're ready, right? No, but you know what? Sometimes you have to tie your hat. So sometimes if you need help, you have to ask for help to tie. My, mine doesn't have ties, but some people have ties on their hats. So you need to ask a big person to help you with that. But you're right, Joanna. I'm not ready to go outside. I have one more thing. I think I need my mitts. And mittens always go last, right, Donna? That's right, because otherwise you can't zip up your coat, you can't get your boots to on, you can't pull your hat on. Mitts go on last. All right, let's put on those mitts. This is the way we put on our mitts. Put on our mitts, put on our mitts. This is the way we put on our mitts to go outside and play. Now you get to go out and play, right, Donna? Now I can go outside to play. You're right. You're Great. right. Great. And sometimes when you're outside for a long time, people know when you're outside if it's cold because you often get a red nose and red cheeks. And I have a poem about how you get that red nose. Do you know how you get it, Joanna? No, I don't. Can you share your poem with us? I can. Where did you get that little red nose? Jack Frost kissed it, I suppose. Kissed it once. Mwah! Kissed it twice. Mwah! Mwah! Poor little nose. It's as cold as ice. Ooh. Did you know Jack Frost gives kisses? I didn't know that. Do you know who Jack Frost is, Joanna? 
I do know he's the one that makes all those pretty snowflakes on your window. That's right. That's right. So let's try it one more time and see if he's going to kiss our nose two times this time again. Where did you get that little red nose? Jack Frost kissed it, I suppose. Kissed it once. Mwah. Kissed it twice. Mwah. Mwah. Poor little nose, it's as cold as ice. And sometimes when you have to, you, when you come in from outside, mommy or daddy may get, end up kissing your nose or your cheeks to help warm them up when you've been outside playing for a while. Oh, I really like that rhyme. And I like it because big kids can do it and it's a fun one to do with babies too. That's right. That's right. Excellent. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed our story and our songs today. And we can't wait to see you on Thursday for our live story time at 930. Have a good week. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.